a orange one here so i went back and i was i thought i was recording but i it actually wasn't actually recording um but i went back and tried to go after this crab he is now missing an arm and a leg so i think they're gonna bleed out pretty soon to be honest I'm not exactly sure though i mean they're still taking bleeding damage so i'm pretty sure that's gonna be what happens here yeah but actually are they still bleeding they might not actually be bleeding anymore that badly yeah they're actually not bleeding that much anymore but i can dismember them again i'm gonna honestly kind of like lure them in and then just juke them <laughs> ah, <laughs> take that <laughs> um and we can flurry pretty soon i'm gonna inflate my axons though for that i think can I... Where are you, friend? Hello? Oh, nope, you're still alive. What's going on here? Wounded. Uh, can I look at what's going on here? Mobility impaired, and they've got itchy skin, they're cleaved pretty bad. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for it. Inflate axons. I just am curious. Can I see anything else about it? It's got a weird artifact, apparently. I don't know what it's doing with said artifact. Okay, just did a flurry and that was enough. Cool. <laughs> Whatever it is that you've got here, I'm going to try and identify it. Um, uh, let's remove that. Connor, our little thing. Also, the gray chair, it helps you identify things. The, the thing that I found, I think, last... No, two episodes ago. And I also might want to make a couple of these. I think that will help us in that as well. Against, like, maybe the rim work. I, I want to try that if we run into that thing again. I really don't want to run into it again, to be honest. Not until we've got, like, a blaze injector or... Something. A combat shotgun? Really? That's nothing. That's like pretty pretty much worthless. Oh, I could take their head. <laughs> I guess I decapitated them. Is that what happened then? <gasps> Look, they have a fullerite dagger. Oh man, if that was only a... Uh... Like, um, whatchamacallit? Like a, a fullerite axe, man. That would have been really, really nice for us. Um, so let's go ahead and and we can cook from a recipe. I don't think I think we're actually inspired to cook another meal. So I'm just gonna go with our uh, fine wafers and maybe let's go with let's just do that and see what ends up happening. Yeah, whatever. Fine, I guess we weren't inspired. That's okay. <laughs> Look, there's there's their parts. Um, so I think we can get to the Beetle now. I'm almost positive. Oh. Is that like a one of the mortar robots or something? Yeah, okay. You know what we can do actually is we can take control of you. <laughs> Uh, I just want to experiment. Oh yeah, I can see my rockets. Um, so if I go to my inventory, can I... Um... Yeah, okay. Can I remove that? Oh, I can. Um, inventory. Drop it. <laughs> I can just drop your inventory right there. Cool. Now I've got a little mortar. <laughs> Um, anything that I can see right here? I think the Beetle was somewhere around here, right? No? Maybe not. I'm just gonna scout out with my little robot just for a minute. Uh, there's the Rimwork's foot. Foot. Oh, the Rimwork is right there. Can I kill it with my mortar here? Ooh, it's not hostile to my mortar. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Um, oop, it's attacking something. 
Hold on, I'm gonna go get my my mortar and see if we can kill it with our robot here. Actually, I could maybe even get another another item and equip that. If this thing can um, wear things, yeah. Um, reload the mortar. I think the mortar is actually a pretty decent weapon against against the remark. I'm just gonna go like way over here, see if I can shoot him. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's weird. Um. Okay. I think. I think that we lost the connection with them or something. Um, do I want to go for it? I think I do. I think I want to kill it. Um, can I put to sleep, maybe? Uh, da -da 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 -da, sleep grenade, yep. Throw that. There we go. They're falling. They're asleep now. Um... Do I want to go for the dismember? I do. Oh, really? Okay, they're cleaved. Um. Yeah, there we go. All right, cool. The room works dead. Okay, so sleep grenade and charging seems to work pretty well against them. Good to know. Very good to know. It's a shame that it looks like they killed our little robot friend. I mean, now I know the, the guys that carry mortars, I might be able to dominate and like make him be my friend, kind of. I, d I don't know how I'm going to be able to get them to come with me on the long run, but I could probably get them in like armor and stuff. Uh, what? Just teleported down there. Blow moth? There you are. There we go. Okay, that thing didn't even stand a chance. There are some voiders here. I'm going to go and attack them because there could be some good loot, possibly. Maybe just go around them. What's this? A rifle turret. <laughs> it didn't even stand a chance. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, hey. I steal gauntlets. I'm going to equip that. You kidding me? And in Crysteel Mace? Okay, so we've basically gotten Crysteel everything besides what I, I actually want. Um, okay. Let's have a look at these things. What are they? The boots. Oh. I'm puzzled by them. Do I have my... I do have my monocle. I could try and look at those, those uh, boots. When we're standing in our gray chair. We could try and go back for that nuclear cell. Oh, dude, we got a nuclear cell. That's seriously super good. Um, let's just drop the missiles for sure. Don't really need that. And I don't think we really need this either. Yep, and now, now we can move. Yeah, those, those voiders, they seem to be guarding some pretty good stuff over here. If I wanted to get some experience, I could, could attack them. Probably should. Oh, I missed him. I uh, cleaved through their armor. Are they not actually attacking me back? I'm not sure what's going on. Are they making me like phase in and out of reality or no? I think that they didn't do that. Okay, so I think down probably because we killed the rim work, right? Um, do you have more sleep grenades in case we need them? There's also a way down there. Just want to make sure that the surroundings are secure, though. There's a gorilla there. I, I am so blown away by that drill bot, how successful we were with that. That was just so bonkers. We've really gone far down into these caves. Like, it... <laughs> 
<laughs> you might not even realize that there's a main game. How deep am I? Uh, level 14, that's pretty deep. Not half bad. Just need to be careful that there's no more rim works that are gonna freeze me. I've only got like one salve injector, which I really don't like. I think that we could probably go back to the gray chair, get those boots identified, even though my character can't even wear boots. Just a reminder. <laughs> um. Okay, electric snail, come here. Yeah, we can kill you. I don't need to do any abilities or anything. We'll just do that easy. Uh, is that a slumberling? Hey. Um. A web toad one. Interesting. I mean, that would put me kind of on top of a web. That would be better, I think. Let's go. Blurry. Dismember. There we go. Lumbering is dead. Yeah, this. Definitely might be a point where I want to go back and identify those boots and maybe go back to merchants and stuff. Uh, what is that that's trying to shoot us? And slash that thing right there. I think it's just a regular gun. Yeah. I wonder if I could have unequipped him and just taken his gun. I think I probably could have. Free gun and free free bits, I think, essentially. Maybe I'm misunderstanding though, and that isn't actually how it works. Um okay. Looking good though so far. I'm pretty happy with things. What about up here? Is there anything over here? No, nothing over there. Alright. Well then. Let's go, maybe. There was also this kind of. Yeah, there was something over here. I thought. If that thing's having that hard of a time killing a beetle, it's not gonna be. Yeah, anything I have to be concerned about, I don't think. Cool. Yeah, this is getting a little bit confusing with all of the tunnels. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get back to the gray chair from here. Oh, inspired. That's good. Any rim works around? No. I'll just dismember you real quick. And hanging out by the edge is always a good idea. In any roguelike, you want to go around the edge. Like, I'm going in the center now, which is not particularly smart because that means I can get attacked from more directions. But here, if I'm along the edge, much smarter. Much, much smarter. But this is a bust kind of level. Got some water. Something's chirping. A wet laser turret. Okay, I'll, I'll deal with that soon enough. There's something attacking that wall. Or something like that. Um, sure. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take control of you. And make you drop those. Thank you. <laughs> and... And domination. And hey, I just got myself some more chem cells. <laughs> By saying, hey robot, you want to give that thing to me? <laughs> Oh, hold on. There we go. And we also got their um, pretty good chem cell. I mean, we've got a nuclear chem cell, truth be told. Actually, hold on, give me a second. I, I want to check something really quick. Sorry about that. Okay, there we go. Um, I just wanted to check about the bracelet that I've been carrying, the, uh, I think it's a displacer bracelet. Can't, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but there's some sort of bracelet that I have. Um, 
that when powered, yeah, the deactivated displaced the bracelet. It just teleports you around. I just wanted to see what people said about the ability. Oh, there's a mercurial. I mean, I'm kind of interested in dominating maybe the cloneling and seeing what they got. <sighs> mercurial. Okay, we'll go for the mercurial. Um, inflate, charge. Oh man, really? Charge him now. There we go. I'm gonna... I can't actually take control of him. Let's try and dismember you then, and take you apart a little bit. Um... Oh, now I'm carrying... I think it's the equivalent of their robot face. I'm not 100% sure. There's just so much stuff that I have at this point, it's kind of hard to keep track of it all. Yeah, this thing right here, if I look at it... Yeah, see that? That like, counts as their face. <laughs> okay, take care of that. Just wait around, hanging out with my gorillas. And my homies. They're like, totally... Like peaceful in this playthrough with me. I like how like this game ends up having just random animals just be like your friends. You know? Like Chip Chop loves hanging out with um the monkeys. <laughs> I wanna have a little robot friend that would be like my permanent companion. Oh what the what? Normality field. That is I've not seen a normality field like this before. Huh. So if I go down here, I am curious about what I can see over there. What is that, a weird artifact? Um, what's, what's going on up here? This looks like this is just a bunch of trash. And he's astrally tethered. Don't really know what that means. Uh, what's that up there? Another weird artifact? Um, that's blocked by another- oh, by a weird artifact. Can I look at it? A norm core. Can I- if I deactivate it? What happens? Can I disassemble it? <laughs> yep. Okay. I don't think that did anything. I'm just gonna look around and see what happens. Nah, it looks like nothing happened. Okay, well we got some interesting bit there. I'm kind of worried. Strange furniture. Normcore Mark II. Okay, so all of the normality gas is gone from here. That is very interesting. I've not seen anything like that before. That's new to the game to me. Um, Arconaut. Um, that's no, the Arconaut's down there. This is a Mercurial. It's fine. I love how they're they don't even do enough to hurt me anymore. I'm just gonna wait over here. Actually, if you're going through all that trash, have you found anything? I don't know if that's how this works, but I wonder if he can find stuff and then I can take it from him. I feel like that is maybe how it works. I'm gonna have to take a little break here soon. I got stuff I gotta do, but... Oh, I should have... Yeah, I kind of messed that up. Yeah, I'm going to take a break and I'll come back in a little bit. Sorry, I'll see you soon. Alright, where were we again? Okay, I remembered there was the normality gas, right? Yeah, okay. And so I'm a little sketched out because if there's that, there could be some random, random like, rimworks or other nasty enemies here. We just got to be careful. Uh, what is that right there? Stone Anvil. 
You know what that means. That means that there's probably some other furniture or something around here. Okay, I could actually, you know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna control you. Oh, they resisted! <laughs> okay, good job. I got your laser rifle still. <laughs> I love it. I have tried to dominate him so I could take out his gun and then I just cut it off. <laughs> pretty sweet. That would have been pretty cool if I had uh, gotten a Mercurial there to be my, my friend. Um... Yeah. I could do it. I think I'm going to, yeah. Okay, so there's... I think this is where the Arconaut came from or something. This is like this wet trash. An old bronze ingot. I'm just curious if there's anything under these webs. There's not going to be anything under the webs. <laughs> what am I telling myself? This is just a forge. It's wet. Okay, well. It is what it is. Um, not really much go else interesting going on there. There's the arrows up, and then the down was actually... Oh, it's right here. Okay. Oh, the mercurial... Where did you go? Did you teleport out here? Um, we've lost him. Okay, whatever. We don't need to keep track of him. We'll we'll keep on we'll keep on diving, you know. Keep on going, seeing what we find. This is where things get a little sketch, though. Oh look, there's a drill bot. I'm going to hide myself over here, Drillbot. Come here. And then I'm gonna take you over. Thank you. That thing's not hostile to me, is it? It is, actually. You better not kill me. What? You killed my Drillbot. Are you kidding me? I mean, it was an electrical enemy. I should have probably known. Now I'm, I'm kind of upset about that though, because that drill bot would have really helped me explore. <laughs> Whatever. It looks like this area is really open anyways. So I don't really need a drill bot because I'm probably going to be able to open up those walls anyways. See what else is around us. Hello. Any more? Yeah, you guys are pathetic. Clear them out really easily. It's funny how like you can have like a really tough floor and then you go down and underneath it it's actually easier, you know? Like these enemies aren't that bad that we've been fighting for the most part. There's just that rim work that really, really messed us up. I'm so glad we got them though. And I'm glad that we found that the sleep works semi-effectively against them. I mean if you hit them first, right? Go ahead and charge at him, and yeah, he's gonna try and jump me in here. Really? Yeah, I cleaved him. Okay, he is he is a nasty one. Um, I don't know, man. They are wounded. Okay, you got them. That was a little sketch. I, I didn't like that at all. It was way too close. <laughs> um, Let's go up here. We'll come out this way. Apologies. It's going to take us a little while at Shale. Sandstone's faster though, right? Yeah, sandstone's really easy. I mean, it's sandstone, right? In case you're unaware, Cud is most likely in the Middle East, so there probably would be a decent amount of sandstone. Yeah, it's um, kind of part of the lore. 
Flash, not really. It's it's referenced in some of like the language that they they talk about things in game. Oh, guess I took a picture. <laughs> Misclick. Oh, what do we have here? Tari slime. I don't like Tari slime. And there's magma crabs. Great. Yeah. I don't want to be dealing with mag magma crabs if I don't have to. We'll just leave some stuff behind. We'll see what else is around here. Hey, look, that actually opened up. Uh, what are you? And what are you trying to hit me with? A tart beard. I'm pretty sure that that isn't even that dangerous. Um, there's two of them, though, right there. How are we doing, tart beard? Uh, they're impaired and they're bleeding. Um, let's see if I can just kill you. Yes, I can. That wasn't so bad. Uh, don't I have? I don't have butchery. It looks like I kind of want to get butchery as a skill that would allow me to get some good ingredient from this tart beard. Oh, hello. I'll try and dismember you, and we'll just kill you. Yeah, we'll just wait a little bit. That should allow the stuff to kind of disperse a little bit. Or not. <laughs> okay, we'll just wait a little bit more, I guess. Um, let's cook our, our thing that, uh, yeah, no, yeah. Anytime you take damage, you should be getting more HP for an hour. Um... Is that what I think it is? It's a bright shim. I don't get any item from that, do I? I think it just lights up the map. Just want to make sure. Okay, what are you over there? A fungicide miner, Mark II. Oh, cool. <clears throat> can I take you over? Yeah. You can. I don't have any inventory or equipment. I've, I don't even have abilities. What's this dude right here? A low light laser turret tinkerer. Maybe I'll I'll end my domination here, and then I'll just kill these things. Yeah, we can take out the tinkerer, right? Where are you going, buddy? Oh, what was this? Acidic mandibles? Yeah, I can kill you. Oh, there's a sleep beard. I'm getting more health. Do you see that? I've got like boosted health. Ah, uh, the tinker ran away. I want to just make sure that all of the, um, oh, what are you? <gasps> Dervish. Oh, these guys. I remember you. You've got psionic. So if I, I don't think I can neutralize you with my other stuff. I don't think I need to, though, to be honest. Okay, we cleaved. Pretty bad, and missing a hand. That's great. That's actually just what I want. Oh man, they actually went down really quick. Oh my gosh, that was that wasn't even that bad. I take that for sure. Definitely gonna take that. Oh man, I want to take that, but we can't. It's just too heavy. That's so much stuff. I think we need to get rid of this now. Yeah. 
And, oh man, we're pretty much... Let's just get rid of that as well. Oh, our health dropped after that effect wore out. It was nice while it lasted, that added safety, right? Oh, what are you right here? A holographic ivory. I mean, if it's a hologram, should it be able to hurt me? It's a little unfair. Oh, who are you? Dude, how are you alive down here? Seriously. Uh, laser beam? Oh. Is that Minic that he's fighting? Oh, here we go. A livid creeper? What's that? I'm not familiar with that. Okay, there's a lot of these turrets here. <laughs> Maybe I just take some steps back. There's like some sort of livid creeper. I don't know what that is. This tinkerer is somewhere around here. Oh, is this the exploding thing? I think those are the things that like sometimes will explode. It's got a sensory nodule. Okay, it's it's a plant. I thought that it was like sensory nodules, like a computer part or something. Got very confused. Um, we are getting near the half an hour mark, I think. From what I remember. Can I just take out these dudes like once and for all? There we go. Got all those chem cells, man. All those parts too. Yeah, this is this is just bonkers. Things are just starting to absolutely not spiral out of control, but starting to kind of get a little bit crazy. It became heartier. Oh, it's because of the holographic thing. It hurt me, which gave me more health. <laughs> oh, cud. So strange. So wonderful. Um, yeah, these enemies are are not really too concerning at this point. Uh, there's some stuff over there that I haven't checked out. I do want to do that maybe, and then we'll, we'll probably end this here. Yeah, if there's controller units and stuff, I want those. Oh, look at that. That's the, uh, uh it's just regular sap. That was going to be like special sap from that enemy type. Uh, this makes me suspect there might be something good this way. No, never mind. I had to explore though. I had to check it out. I think I'm going to end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.